All right, so here are the three laws of logarithms that we're going to go, uh, talk about today. Okay? So section 10.5 is called laws of logarithms. So before each equal sign is, is what we're going to call condensed form. And after each equal sign is expanded uh, form. Okay? Yeah, that's a base B. This is all the algebra in it. We're going to replace all those B's and M's and N's and K's with numbers. Okay? These are just the laws. Okay? <coughs> so we're going to take log base B of M, N. When you have M right next to N, that means multiply. Okay? And when you go to expand it, you're going to basically uh, stretch it out, make it into two terms, both with that same base, and you're going to separate it into the two things that are being multiplied with the plus sign, okay? Then you're going to have m over n, which is basically division. So when you go to expand it, you're going to separate it into subtraction. All right. Think of it as the reason you're doing it is because it's the inverse operation of exponents, right? So if you have x to the second times x to the third, this is actually equal to x to the what? Fifth, right? Because you take the two plus the three, so you get x to the fifth. That's why when you expand it, you add. And when you're doing division, you subtract. Okay? So that's the reason behind it. <coughs> and then the third one is basically if there's an exponent on the K or exponent on the M, you're going to take whatever number it is, say it's a square or a cube. You're just going to write that out front, kind of like a coefficient. All right? So let's try one. So example number one, we're going to take log base 6 of 2x. And the directions in the book should say something like express in terms of log base b of m, and log base b of n. Instead of just saying expand, those fancy long directions, all they really mean to do is expand it. All right? Except for this book is so old, it doesn't use that terminology. It says instead, express in terms of log base b, and uh, of m and log base b of n. So it's showing it as two separate. So it's making it bigger. It's expanding it. Okay? So we're going to use this first law right here. And we're going to keep the same base. So we're going to say log base b of the two things that are being multiplied. So in this case, 2 is being multiplied by x. If it helps you, put a little dot. Or if it helps you, put one of them in parentheses or both of them in parentheses. So you recognize that, oh, it's being multiplied. Okay? So I'm going to take the first thing that's being multiplied, which is the 2. So we've got log base b of 2. Then we're going to add log base b of the second thing that's being multiplied, which is the x. And that's how you expand. Okay. Any questions on example number one? Javen. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. My writing's bad. That's a six. Yeah. <laughs> that's my poor. There we go. Sorry. That's why we shouldn't use B. We, that's why 6 looks like B, and S sometimes looks like 5. 
All right, example number two. This time, we're going to take log base 9 of x plus log base 9 of y, and we're going to condense it, but the directions are going to say something else. The directions in the book, the reason I'm writing, you, writing them down and telling you is because I kind of don't like them, okay? It says express as a single log, when it just should, should, should say condense. Okay, I would prefer it just said expand, or I would prefer it just said condense, but instead it says express it in these different ways. All right, so now for example number two, we're gonna go the other direction. So we're gonna start with the right side of law number one and condense it down to the left side, okay? So since they're both log base nine, we're gonna start with log base nine. And then since there's a plus sign, that means we need to multiply those two things. So x times y, so you can just write x, y, or x dot y, or put one of them in parentheses, or put both of them in parentheses, however you wanna indicate your multiplication. I'm gonna put a little dot. All right, any questions on example number two? All right, example number three. Got log base three of nine over x. So do you think they want us to expand or do you think they want us to condense? Expand, because we're just starting with one, right? So we need to uh, figure out, do they, want, do they want us to use law one? or law two, which one does it look more like? The second one, right? Which is where something is being divided by something, so when we expand it, we need to subtract. So we're gonna keep the same base, so we're gonna say log base three of nine minus log base three of x, okay? One thing that you need to know when you're dealing with division and subtraction, is that order matters, right? Because with subtraction and division, order always matters. With addition and multiplication, order doesn't matter as much. Just keep it, I just keep the addition and the multiplication in the same order too, but yes. So in that case, if I bring up the x, are you going to go up to the bottom of the list before you put the multiplicator in the bottom? The numerator first and the denominator second. It's not whether it's a number or whether it's a variable. It's the numerator first and then the denominator second. Okay? All right. Good question. Any other questions on example number three? All right. Example number four. Thank you. Log base 2 of y minus log base 2 of w. So what do they want us to do on this one? Condense, right? Because you're starting with two terms, so you want to bring it down to one term. And so you're going to use law, law two again, and you're going to go from the right side of the equal sign now to the left side of the equal sign. They're both log base two, so you write log base two. And order matters. So which one's going to go in the numerator and which one's going to go in the denominator? Y over W, yes. Yes. All right, now let's try one with one of those exponents. All right, so example number five. Log base six of M squared and cubed. Look, let me move it up. Okay, if it helps, put a little dot here to show multiplication, but in the book it's not necessarily going to have a dot. It's just going to have them right next to each other showing multiplication of variables, right? 
So you just need to know, okay, that's multiplication, so I'm going to need to use the first law, right? So when you go to expand it, you're going to use addition or subtraction. Addition. So you're going to say log base 6 of m squared plus log base 6 of n cubed. And we've done the expansion part. Now we need to take those exponents and move them out front. Kind of like coefficients here. So this is going to become 2 log base 6 of m plus 3 log base 6 of n. All right, example number 6 is just a little bit trickier than number 5. End of the fifth, yes. Make it bigger for you. Is that better? So we've got log base 2 of the square root of m over n to the fifth. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this uh, with, with a power instead of writing the square root, right? So if you have a square root, I'm going to take that log base 2 of m over n to the fifth to the what power? If you're taking the square root, it's what power? Sorry. Not squared. Sorry. One half. Right? Whatever root you're taking becomes the denominator. So if you were taking the third root, it would be one third. If you were taking the fourth root, it would be one fourth. Okay? So now that we have that exponent, we're going to move that out front like the coefficient, so it will be 1 half log base 2 of m over n to the fifth. And then we can expand this, right, because we have a division right here. So what when we go to expand it, is it going to be adding or subtracting? Subtracting. subtracting. So this becomes 1 half times the log base 2 of m minus the log base 2 of n to the fifth. And we can do one more thing. Anybody see it? Put the exponent, right? Put the exponent out front. So this becomes 1 half times log base 2 of m minus 5 times log base 2 of m. And, oops, I wrote capital, sorry, instead of the lowercase. 